Hey everyone, this is my dog Porter, and a couple of days ago he had a bit of a PTSD trigger. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it in a little card on the screen somewhere. And I just wanted to follow up and talk about how he's doing and uh, why I handle his episodes the way I do. The first thing to mention is that dogs, and even humans, who have severe PTSD will unfortunately fully, n probably never fully recover. We can do our best to get them through it though and make them feel safe. The safer they feel, the less severe their episodes tend to be. The second thing to remember is that, remember if your dog has PTSD and has an episode like this, it can take time for them to fully recover. And by that I mean, you know, days, weeks. Porter spent the last two days acting very afraid and suddenly, not like him at all, he started getting aggressive about every sound he heard coming from the outside. I have one little clip of that. <laughs> it's not to say that he never jumps up when he hears something at the door, but he was doing that constantly every time he heard a sound. Now moving on to the video we made the other day. There are three very important things I think everyone should take away from that video as far as how I handled the situation. Number one, and this is a big one, it's not just for dogs with PTSD, get down on his level. You can actually take this one step further if you trust your, you know, if your dog is trustworthy. <laughs> uh, and you can lay down on the floor. Getting down on your dog's level makes you less imposing and it also gives them access to your lap if they, <laughs> if they want to come sit in your lap when they feel safe. Number two, in the comments section the other day, there were a few people who made comments like, just grab him out of there and snuggle him. One person even went as far as to call me an idiot for not doing that. <laughs> but forcing him out of his bed is a really bad idea in that situation. Especially if a dog is aggressive, you actually risk getting bitten by a dog. In Porter's case, I actually learned very early on that if I grab him out of his bed, well, the first time, you know, the first few times I would grab him out of his hiding spot, he would actually pee all over my arm, uh, just out of fear. So yeah, if, you're, if your dog is hiding, give them some agency, give them some space. Your job is to make them feel safe, and being yanked out of the place that you want to stay in is not making you feel safe. If a dog is very upset, they might not want to come out of their hiding spot for, you know, 30 minutes or longer. At that point, you should really give them their space. Just walk away, do something else for a while until they're ready to come out. So number three, and not quite as important as the first two, is notice that I talked to him. Conversely, you may not want to talk to them though. If your dog's like Porter and loves hearing your voice and your voice is calming or exciting to them, something like that, it's great to just sit and talk to them calmly until, you know, until they're ready. But Human voices do upset some dogs, so you might not want to make a lot of sounds. You might maybe just sit there and touch or just wait in general. Maybe, you know, don't make a lot of eye contact, just kind of just be there. And finally, when they're ready to come out and get some love, make sure you give them a lot of love. <laughs> give them as much as they need. This concept of them milking it, you know, hamming it up. It's funny and cute, but, you know, just remember not to take that literally. That's not how they're thinking. They're just trying to, they're just trying to gain their connection back with you because they want to feel safe again. I hope that sheds some light on what I do and how I do it. Just like any kind of dog training, there are always different ways to approach these things. Right at the end of making this video, I got a text from my wife that said, Dean, Chihuahua Dean is uh, in the shelter right now. <laughs> so expect a video this week sometime. Just a little update video on him. Until then, don't forget to hit the old like button and all that fun stuff. Until next time, take care.